Oh, Shannon's really a really good athlete, uh, Everett girl. She competed in a lot of sports. She competed in a lot of sports in Everett, uh, in high school and stuff. She played on the, you know, she was a football player, basketball player, soccer player. Multi, multi-faceted athlete as a kid. I've known Shannon since she was young through a mutual friend of mine, an attorney. I've known Shannon, she was kind of, I wouldn't say a troubled kid, but kind of she had no direction. So she started coming into the gym. She started working here at Greater Boston Fitness at the juice bar, and I used to tell her, what are you doing behind here? You should be in Hollywood. That come her name, Hollywood for piano, because she's very a, a, attractive girl. So I used to kid her all the time when she was a teenager. Come up and start doing a little bit of boxing. So we started going over to Peter Welsh, again, through a mutual friend, and uh, she was a very good athlete. Now, I know the Fopianos are a real, well-known Everett family. Uh, you know you know Everett's football history. You're a Brockton guy, so you know Everett's football history. And, you know, her family was part of that. And uh, a lot of good athletes come out of her family. And she's just one of them. I mean, you, you know, you look at her physique and stuff. She's very strong, very athletic. So I saw a little something there. And I saw that she was really um, getting attached to boxing. And it was a direction that was putting her in a good place in her life. She met a nice guy, she got married, you know, and all during this, she was kind of a misdirected young kid, but she was always a sweetheart of a girl, as pretty as she is on the outside, she is on the inside. She's a great kid. I've never seen a female girl come to the gym and work as hard as her. I said, there's a little bit something here, let's see if I can nurture it. You know me, I've, I've, I've been, she won't be my first fight, I've had no amateur experience. I'm not a good amateur teacher because I kind of teach professional prize fighters. I've had a lot of them, as you well know. I've had some movie stars, I've had guys like Joe Rogan, I've had Marcus Davis, I've had Dana Rosenblatt, Richie LaMontagne, I can go on and on, Willie Gibbs. And I always see a little something, there's always a little spark that I see in a kid that can go to that next level. Sometimes they don't, but I really feel Shayna, in female boxing, I just feel you don't have to have a lot of fights to get there. I see the girl that's uh, the champion now, McAllister, um, I watch a film of her, she's only 7-2. and two. I mean, Shayna's 2-0-1 right now, hopefully we can continue this road forward. And uh, eventually we'd like to, you know, fight who are the best fighters in New England. And then I'd like to, you know, it's kind of the way I've done it with all my fighters. You got you to gotta clean out the area. Then you got to go fight someone from another area. Like when we fought Chad Parker with Dana Rosenblatt, we could go to New Orleans, went to Vegas for that fight. It's a, it's a process. I feel she's putting all this time in the gym. She works extremely hard. She spars a lot with the boys. She's a tough girl. Uh, she brings an exciting fight. She has great footwork. She moves. She's working, getting better every day. And I just think she's a great kid. And I see that she lives for the sport of boxing. 